guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ashley and in today's video i am here in my car and y'all see the title of the video it's how to get a car as a teenager so i got my car at 16 years old i am now 17 it was literally the day before my birthday make sure to go watch all my car related videos and a lot of people ask me, how did I do it? Of course I had the help of my parents, but really I actually put that work in. So today I'm gonna tell you guys how to save up, how to start looking for the car, how to actually go through with the transaction and buy the car. And let's get straight into this video. The first thing you wanna do of course is get a job. Like you need to be making this money somehow unless your parents are gonna get it for you. And even then I think, well, for me, I still wanna get my own money instead of depending on my parents. Cause you know, that's gonna prepare me for the future. And I got a job literally the same month that I turned 16. That was when I was allowed to get a job. And I started working there at McDonald's seven months later. I secured the job at Best Buy and I quit McDonald's. Started working right off then at Best Buy. And I've been there for already like six months, almost seven. The next thing is to pick a timeline. This is the most important thing because this is what's gonna push you to work harder like the closer you get to the time you chose. I got my first job April of 2022. That's when I started saving up my money. And the time I chose was for my 17th birthday. I literally gave myself one year, 12 months to save up. And obviously I met my goal because I'm sitting in my car right here. So if I did it, you can too. It all just connects at the end, how much you're making a month at your job, how much you're working, you know what I mean? What your budget is and how long you have to reach your goal. Finding a budget, um, don't try to overwork yourself, you know what I mean? And like try to buy a car that's way over what you know you can afford. Especially for your first car, I think it should always be something starting off easy. Just something that can take you from point A to point B with without worrying that it's gonna break down. But then again, something that you like and something that you're gonna be really proud and happy of. Now that you got all of that situated and planned out, now you can actually start saving. Try, well the, for me, this is what I did. First off, once I got my job in April, I didn't have a credit card for like a couple of months. So everything that was going into my bank account from my job, I was not even touching. I was just using literally like some spare change cash that I had laying around in my room. I didn't touch whatsoever my bank account. After I got a card a couple months later, I had already saved up a whole bunch, but that literally messed me up because I started to use my card. My mom was still watching out for me, so she made sure that I didn't spend all of my money. But to be realistic, of course, you're going to want to use the money that you make from working because then it's like you're just working for free, although you're not because you're saving up for your car. If you're working a lot like I was, take $100 out of your paycheck and use that for the month okay save the rest don't touch the rest i don't know of course how much you guys spend um monthly but i wasn't getting myself any of the things that i liked i was just saving my money taking 100 and using that on things that, like maybe i wanted to go out to eat or something you know what i mean i was just saving my money and i didn't even have to use those 100 dollars every month sometimes there was extra spare you know i didn't even get to 100 save like that for 12 months everything from your paycheck and you're gonna reach your goal trust me also take how much your car costs divide that by 12 like if you're choosing to save up for one year and it'll tell you how much you have to save up monthly to reach your goal so like doing that is just really the easiest way to reach your goal and by seeing how much you have to save every month that's how you know how much you have to work because you know you gotta make more than that so you'll be able to save that but then use some of the extra money for yourself i feel like everybody knows this but some people don't used cars aren't bad like of course people hate on used cars sometimes they do not not a lot but do your research, pick like about five cars that you like. That way, if you don't get one, you'll still be satisfied with any of the other options you chose. My options was Honda Civic. Um, I didn't want the 2016, but I was okay with getting it. I wanted really badly the Honda Accord 2016 and up. That's where I was going and I got the 2016. I am in love with my car. I tell my parents like every day how much I love my car. 
I wanted my car to have a sunroof and it does. I wanted my car to, what did I say I want? I wanted my car to have CarPlay. I wanted to, it to be pushed to start. And I literally got all of, all of the following. There's nothing that my car doesn't have that I didn't want. If you, you know what I mean? Like I was very, very satisfied. So have like options that you want to choose through. I was also thinking of getting a Nissan Altima. What else did I want? Those were my three options. It was the Honda Civic, Honda Accord, or the Nissan Altima. Oh, Toyota Camry, but the newer version. 2018 Toyota Camry. I love that one. It's beautiful. And where can you find these cars? You can search up on cars.com, um, Facebook Marketplace. I know a lot of people that bought off Facebook Marketplace. I got my car from this dealership. It was called member car also a lot of dealerships sell used cars so you can go to like regular dealerships and they're going to be a little bit more expensive though look for mileage you want to have a car that has low mileage me and my dad were looking of course under hundred thousand so we got mine for it was seventy five thousand with my that was how much mileage it had um the tires should look nice you know what i mean not too overused I didn't want any scratches or messes up on the outside of the car, so I got my car in perfect condition. But the inside, it did have some little scratches on like where the window, you put down the window and like the air conditioning button, that was a little scratched up, but just like over that, I'm still gonna get the car, you know what I mean? If everything's in good condition except the buttons maybe because they're a little scratched, I don't even care about that. I wanted the seats to be in good condition. My leather is all well taken care of. For a first car, try looking um, at cars that aren't too like expensive for maintenance. I got myself a Honda, so I know that if my car was to break down, Honda parts aren't going to be as expensive as Mercedes parts, BMW, Audi, like cars like that, a Lexus. Like, if something ever happens to those cars, the parts are harder to find. The parts are more expensive. You can find Honda parts anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, also, the engine. You want to get a car that you're not going to be wasting too much money on on gas. I got a four-cylinder, so $50 fills my tank up. And I fill it up once a week. Just going to school and back and then going to work and back, it takes like a whole week for it to get really on zero. Look for cars around the area, but then again, don't be afraid to like go a little farther because sometimes like in other places like Virginia, well, I live in Maryland, so Virginia, New York, New Jersey, like Pennsylvania, they're cheaper around farther out. So if you find a car here in Maryland that's too expensive, put your range more farther. You might find the same exact car for cheaper. I was looking at 15,000 because I wanted to pay it off in full. If you are going to choose to pay it off monthly, just keep in mind of the interest rates. So try to like pay off the car as fast as you can. Um, or else, of course, at the end, you're going to be paying a lot much more than what the car actually cost you. I paid my car off in full, so I'm not paying nothing but insurance monthly. My parents um, lended me $3,000, so I'm paying them off too, but I got no timeline on that. Of course, I'm paying them off as, as fast as I can because I don't like owing nobody nothing, especially my parents. What I also wanted to say is it's okay to share your dreams, but don't go out telling everybody like, yes, I'm getting my car at this time next year. I'm literally getting it this month, this day. Like, you know what I mean? Don't be out there doing that because a lot of people like to discourage you and be like, you're lying. Like, no, you're not about to get that car. You know what I mean? And a lot of people told me I wasn't going to get my car at 16. And look at me now. You know what I mean? And then again, it's better to keep stuff on the low and surprise everybody after. You know what I mean? That way you don't have pressure on you because after I told almost the whole world that I was going to get my car for my birthday, I was pressuring my parents like, we need to find this car. We need to find this car. Not because I wanted to please other people, but I actually really wanted the car for my birthday. But then again, I was just thinking about how embarrassing it would have been to show up to school now with no car. You know what I mean? But I didn't even care because I knew I had the money. I knew I was going to get my car. I just... It's better to do things also not rushed. So have time when you're buying your car. Like start looking, you know what I mean, ahead of time. I think that's it for today's video. I'm gonna show y'all a little montage just because. And 
i think that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you guys can too get your card just like i did um make sure you take these tips and tricks well there's not really any tricks but take these tips into consideration keep them in mind write them down and don't get discouraged because you can literally do it that's it though so please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and you'll see more videos of me soon bye guys